Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button, also the notification bell. Thank you so much for those of you who support the channel by hitting the like button. We have been through another year of, of transformation, clarification, validation, healing, laughing, tears. We've been through it all and we're hitting December. So let's get your read out, Earth Signs. For the month of December, what do you need to do? know? Remember, sometimes the story is not exactly um, your story, but it is the energy, okay? So what's coming in? Sun card success, illumination. We have the two six of cups here and a tower and a change. It's looking like this is past life, this is romance, this could be nostalgia for you, there could be illumination, um, of, of, but the, just think of um, soulmate, divine counterpart, your counterpart, there is illumination, so whether you've got that already, there is a change here, the change is by the universe, okay, um, if you've been wanting that, you may just be finding that, someone could be very clear on this okay now um this is someone you are meant to be with this is love okay we've got heartbreak here we've got choices here and we've got higher contracts now this is coming out in every read what is coming in particularly we've got sagittarius season we've got capricorn season what's coming out here and then when that's ended we have a whole year of karma, higher contracts, fates, destinies in full activation. The spirit world is going to hold you accountable to these contracts. Yes, that's why karmic cycles are closing out. New ones are opening up. You will, be, um, you will not be in control. These are higher orders coming in to sign you up for contracts that you uh, wrote before you came here and if you don't believe that these are higher powers that step in that take over and set you in motion to where you need to be now in your north node and you can look at astrology you can look at many many things okay for some of you that that you know it, it's someone new it's coming in it's going to change your foundation happy days for others of you there's illumination you have love, you know, romance there, and there's a massive change. Now, there is heartbreak here and a decision to make about what decision, you know, where, what direction. But again, the directions of the higher divine, it's written. The next 12 to 14 months forward from now at the end of Capricorn season, <clears throat> what's going to be is going to be. You, you are not, things are going to happen like... <clears throat> The new path you're going on the new path you're going into the unknown so if you have to make a decision of a direction you're going into the unknown there is a re-evaluation here you're ready to grow you're ready to have more do more build more and you know this could be choices this could be options this could be um you're not sure i feel you're not sure okay um, what you're doing or which option to choose. We have wish fulfillment. This is things being presented to you by the, by the universe. We have here, look, going very inward. This could be a soul mate, soul journey, soul deep reflected, deep connection, okay? It could be a past person. It could be a new person. You place it where it fits, but that's the theme of it. We've got a tower. There's clarity, heartbreak, looking deeper into what you want, where you want to build, where you want to invest, or someone's doing that to you. We have a new path, overflowing abundance coming in. You have opportunities here coming in if you don't, okay? New beginnings, moving forward. Spirit saying... We are moving you forward. So whatever your situation right now, we're moving you forward. It is written for you to go into the unknown, the new path, the, the higher, you know, this is where you haven't been. So for a lot of you, it's looking new. Or if you were reconciling or, or there is a past love, past lover, um, it looks like there's a change, there's clarity. You have to decide whether you're staying, going, whether you can build there or not, okay? 
So there's a message, text, email from Spirit come, that you are meant to hear, a conversation uh, about a new beginning which will make you think and give you the courage to make the choice. So again, if something is revealed to you, that will help you make the choice. Now, really the choice is being made by the higher divine, so because you were meant to get that message, okay? So we have victory here. We have someone definitely coming in or you feeling victorious to move forward. I think my camera keeps moving. Or you're, you feel victorious to move forward, confident, victorious for others of you. Someone's coming in to give you this wish fulfillment offer. If that's not the case and you're like, I'm single, um, guess what's coming in? Someone's coming in and they are a soulmate and you will have a deep soul connection. So if it's new, I've got a feeling here, if you're in a connection or not sure about a connection, I, I reckon out of nowhere, someone new's come in, coming in, you're heading in the new, in the unknown. For others of you, it's funny Someone, yeah, there's a couple of things I'm getting. So you place this where it fits. <coughs> Another one is, you know, someone's ready to give you a wish fulfillment, but is it a little too late? For others of you, um, if, if, you know, if you're single, yeah, wow, they're coming in, you're meeting a soulmate, you're moving forward, you've got to go with the new, it's unexpected, it's very clear. For others of you, the divine is kind of stepping in here saying, look, what you couldn't sort out, what you couldn't decide, I'm telling you, we will decide. We will give you the evidence you need to know. See, someone is going to speak up, reach out, could contact you, wants to contact you, or wants to have a conversation or offer you something. Um, in the par, and, and see, you're unsure. You, there, there's unequal give and take. So for some of you, you're... You're not sure. This person's coming with clarity and truth and direction, but you're not sure or interesting. Someone's setting their ways. Trigger here. Oh. King of Pentacles. Moving on to Karma Waters. Love, message, two of cups. Earth signs. <laughs> For a lot of you, you have a choice of two, okay? Or a choice of direction. So I want to say this. Here's a strong message. Some of you are getting the offer, the proposal, a marriage, a commitment of the soulmate or whatever you want, wish fulfillment, whatever that is. Some of you are getting that. But again, if you don't feel it's right or you're unsure, that's your answer. It's like I want to say here, you're either, you're either deciding to end a relationship and now they want to fix it or it's like, Am I doing this moving forward, committing, connecting, marriage? Like, it doesn't have to be marriage. I haven't got the four of wands out, but am I going into this commitment connection, this next step, this next level, this next whatever, that somehow you feel like it's come a little too late or you're confused because there's a choice of direction within what you want? It's like, am I doing divorce and ending and separating, going a new direction, or am I committing? Either way, and if you're new, if it's new and you're single, it, it, it looks like um, someone's coming in. Maybe you're a bit unsure because of our past hurt. All right, I need another validation here. Putting the past behind you, making a decision, choices, commitment, soulmates, um, new beginnings here, putting in the work, moving forward from heartbreak. So you are moving forward from heartbreak, whether it's old or new, you are moving forward from, from that heartbreak, okay? Passion, someone's coming in here, they want commit, they want higher commitment, 
But again, the new path putting someone out in the cold moving forward. Here's the commitment, the two of cups. Here's a contract. <coughs> Queen of Pentacles, reevaluation, a message. Okay. It feels like there is big decision time, and whether it's someone new coming in, do I want this? Am I ready for this? Or the other aspect is there is an offer you're not sure about, you're triggered, or which direction. And all I can say is this, whatever the outcome is, you have to, you, or you are trying to really weigh up the pros and cons, maybe let the divine step in as well and show you. Because um, we've got moving on here out in the cold, the divine wants you to go on the new path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Resistance, people working against you. Um, or you being resistant. Um, Nine of Swords and see justice. Again, I'm going to say this. Now I've got the Four of Wands out. Justice is either karmic justice or higher contracts. It, 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 and and this is this is marriage. This is yeah. deceit, deception. Someone not listening, not listening to their intuition. Again, I'm going to say this. Someone's either going to give me or, or have an off meet someone that's going to give them an offer, a true offer of marriage, security, stability, whether that's straight away or you're just meeting someone where that will lead to that. Others of you, someone's giving you the offer, but you're just not sure. You, you, it, 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 that's a problem. So if that's the problem, you need to go on the new path. Like the looks here or the divine, the divine will will show you, give you the information you need to make this decision and commitment. For some of you, yep, there's a choice. There's been deep deceit, deception here. Um, now, and, and it's all karmic and karmic contracts are closing and ending. So maybe let the divine sort that out for you. Yeah, we have an emperor here. Um, and so that's decision making and final decision making is being made here. The other thing is, um, if this is the end of a relationship where you thought you were with a divine counterpart, um, there were lots of emotions hidden here, maybe extremes of emotion here, um, and, and you weren't letting that go. If you weren't letting something go, and that, that would be a current situation that you're in. So if you're in a current relationship here and it isn't, it's been, you know, nothing but a mental mind game, emotional track where you're always not sure which direction they're going, you're going, all of the above, um, I think you're going to get the information that, you know, nothing comes into fruition here. And what's going to happen, yeah, see, up in your head about it. Closing out a cycle, ten of swords, lesson learned. Yeah, okay. It was definitely a lesson because you were just not, this is this is forcing something to work. This is trying to hang in there when 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 it's it's just not good, not healthy, not good. It, you, it's that's trying to hang on to something that is barren, you know, you've got all the evidence. It doesn't work, you know. It's re-evaluation. The, the messages are there, you know, the, the endings, the closing, the weighing, the pros and cons, the working on it. It's not there. So I am going to say this, and, and this was very similar to the reading that I did yesterday that was so negative I just couldn't put it up. Um, you know, the fated wheel of change is coming in here. Yes, it's going to be overwhelming. Um, but, you know, everything is going to be put in divine order. That's all I'm going to say. So if you're being told to move on, if you haven't been able to close something out, and I mean a current situation, relationship, you're, you've really been hanging in there. 
It's nothing but hurt, past hurt, trauma, trauma trigger, mind games, constant, when am I going there, am I going there? Nothing moving forward, nothing moving forward. There, there is that, so the universe is gonna, is gonna close this out, lesson learned. For others of you, it's, it's not the case. You're, you're definitely putting the past behind you, moving forward, you are going to get a new connection, soulmate, all of the rest of it. Um, and that's coming in and they will help you through this heartbreak, through this hurt. Um, and they are a higher committed contract that you are to move forward to, okay? For others of you, um, someone's coming in, you're putting the past behind you. There is a change in this person clarity but yeah no he released the burden the block you know the deception the deceit the not yeah no no okay so you're either getting someone new moving on moving forward it's either sort of like moving you towards new commitment closing out cycles new partners new partnerships higher you know next level Divine stepping in, or you are ending something that you have refused, and I'm talking a current connection. So this would be like a divorce or a separation, that you have all the evidence that nothing moves forward here. Nothing grows, it's emotional, it's been lessons, it's, it's tumultuous energy, it's trauma bonding, And, you know, sometimes we can't make those decisions and we're up in our head and we're just trying to hang in there and, and have it succeed and succeed. But we're not looking at the evidence. We're not weighing up the pros and cons. We're not looking behind the scenes here. Um, and so some healing. But I've, I've got spirit bringing all that information to you. I feel like for some, spirit has shown you over and over again, you know, um, but there's a stubbornness, you know, about this commitment earth sign in this in this relationship. And we do get this a bit um, where people are just adamant that's my partner and they're not. It's conflict, in and out of conflict, you know. Um, yeah, it was definitely karmic, karmic cycles closing out for you guys. See, the lover's choices Again, choices, nothing moving forward. So if someone doesn't, isn't moving things forward, isn't bringing you these offers, isn't bringing you these commitments, sometimes you've got to stop and actually in, you're in the commitment with the person and it's not moving forward and it's not growing, then maybe you need to... Surrender and because to me and you're let's pretend you're wanting this or you're wanting that or you're wanting it to work or you're wanting it to stay or you're wanting to work on it. You know, where are you putting in all that work for something or someone that does not want to be there really? That can be that, you know, steadfast stubborn, too, too unwilling to, um, it's like not have a victory, like, mm, ten of cups, king of wands, lovers. Yeah, I'm sorry to say this, but for some of you, there is a big revelation here that someone's happiness and ten of cups. We've got a king of wands here, lovers' choices. They're very, they're not moving forward in what they're in, or they're very set, you know, who they're building with. We've got nine of pentacles, but then overwhelm. Like for some of you, nine of swords. For some of you, some of you may be, may be with the king of wands, or 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 but that you know they're They've either got choices or, or they're, 
you won't, it's like you won't admit or you, you mental, emotional, physical, spirit. You know, what I'm trying to say is this. This is this one here, and I'm going to pull another one. This is someone who won't admit someone is in love with someone else or someone's happiness is somewhere else. And that's the realisation you're going to about to come to or be told, I just heard. Or they really want to commit somewhere else. Um, now, for others of you, that's, that's just one. It's just... And although that was hidden from you, I don't think it was hidden from you. I think it was, yeah. Anyway, another message, Queen of Cups. Moving forward, resistance. Oh. Others of you, you're moving forward to your Ten of Pentacles, where you can build and grow, okay? Any resistance that someone has put on you is going to be removed. You do have love coming in here. You're releasing a burden and releasing a block. So where you didn't have this commitment, love, you're going to now get it, all right? Um, there's illumination, passion here. All I'm going to say is this, because we're getting a little bit of a repeat there. Karmic cycles. If you want ten of pentacles, let the divine step in. Let the karmic contracts just naturally happen, because spirit's trying to bring you, and there's a re-evaluation of the ten of pentacles. Maybe what you wanted in the past was not what you want now. Maybe what someone else wanted in the past was not what they want now. Spirit is saying, we know where to guide you. We know where to take you. Let us step in. We are bringing you this love you want. We know how to do it. Get out of our way. Take care, guys.